Uh, okay, Chris, we're wrapping it up with headline number five. So according to Chain Storage, Opie, a new drive through grocery concept, opened its first store in Mount Pleasant, South Carolina. Opie, which builds itself as an ultra-fast convenience grocery store, is 3,000 square feet, features thousands of items, including fresh meat and produce, and it's open 24-7. All the customers have to do is pull into a parking spot at the store and order from their car using the Opie app. And their order is brought out to the car in minutes. Well, shucks, I'll be in Mayberry. <laughs> well, no, no fees and order minimums. They also have the ability for smaller express orders. Mm. Customers can order directly with the clerks in the drive through lane. And shoppers can also order ahead on the grocer's website if, if that's the previous options are not sufficient. So, Chris, this is basically Chick-fil-A for groceries. <laughs> Literally, the store director, yeah, Scott right. Thomas, came yeah, from Chick-fil-A. Right. Um, I know how much you love that place, so I can only imagine what you are thinking about this. Yeah, I don't. Ah, Do you think I like this? Or you think I don't like it? I mean, what do you think? I, I'm curious. I think that I thought I mean, I feel like it, like I said, you love Chick-fil-A. You evangelize Chick-fil-A like you know, you might as well work for them or get a kickback. I, I do evangelize. Actually, I was something. on a pot. I was on a webinar yesterday and I, I singled out Chick-fil-A for their overall customer experience okay, um, so what do by you way of their this? digital properties. I don't like this. Why? I don't like this because I think it goes back to, if you listen to the show last week, what we talked about last week and it's okay. And what is your brand promise? And so last week we talked about that within the context of GoPuff where GoPuff's brand promise is about quick delivery, mm -hmm. getting people the things, the small subset of items that they need quickly. And so to do that, they have to build these micro warehouses. And so the whole point of our discussion last week was it makes sense because you're just building these kind of drive up, pull up to stores, you order digitally. It's like a vending machine. It makes sense because you get the return on assets from doing that yep. if for whoever happens to partake in that activity. What I don't like about this for grocery is if you're pushing yourself as a grocery store, then it's a different um, mental conception in the mind of your consumers. Like if I'm going to, if I'm, if I'm grocery shopping, that's a different experience for me. So I want to be able to go in and I mean, as, cause we hear this all the time. I want to be able to spend time in the store. I want to be able to touch and feel my avocados, my bananas, or at least I want to have the option to do that. Mm. And so that's where I think like, how does this stack up then against all the other grocers that are putting these same capabilities basically into their own stores. You can drive up, pick up there, you know, curbside pickup, you can order direct from them to your home. So I just don't see how this stacks up in the long run because I actually think it it will become more confusing or more delimiting for consumers than if it otherwise didn't exist. Oh, I, I gotta disagree, disagree with All you. Right, go I, for it. I do like the idea of being able to pull the car through a drive-thru and get a gallon of milk and other staples while my kids are in the but back. You can, do that, the you can do that at a local grocery store now. No, I can't. You, can Not, you can't drive up order and then go pick it up. I mean, that that's what they're, they're essentially doing here is saying like, I can pull up to a person under the Chick-fil-A oh. tent and say, I would like a milk. I would like eggs. And I need, you know, a pack of fruit okay. snacks and they can, and I can do that. Now we did see QSRs like McDonald's and Panera doing this throughout the pandemic. They were, they were adding staples yeah. to their drive throughs the only thing is, Chris, I just have this vision in my head of like a loose interpretation of express lane, like in a grocery store, you don't want to get behind the person yeah. that's like, I would like, uh, extremely ripe right. avocados and the bananas with no spots on them. And it's like, right. okay, that's not the same as when you're in a Chick-fil-A line. It's like, I want the spicy chicken, a malt and fries done. Like yeah. there's no, there's no, like conversation happening about groceries, which I, I think could be. A yeah, I think you're right. I think the bottlenecks of this that have still yet to develop yes. inside the actual like movement of the cars and the right. people is still something to be determined. But I don't know. I still I still I, I don't I don't know if you're convincing me on this one, because I still think like you have a limited skew assortment. I can still over time probably do all those same things at a traditional, you know, local grocer. So I just don't see what the allure is here. Uh, for the most part, but last word. Yeah. I, I think when you, when you add in kids in the car, you add in inclement weather to be able to go and do a drive through. There are multiple occasions as a mother that I'm like, I wish I could just pull up and ask somebody for this and not have to mess around with an app and, and 30 minutes, even 30 minutes or an hour's notice to, you know, put in my order and hope that targets not backloaded and they can fill my order. Fair enough. You are a better mother than I. So well, everybody knows that. Yeah, That's right. Better parent than I too, probably. No, but. not. That. <laughs>